one great example of uh, working in uh, civic engagement and denizen engagement, I guess, is uh, our spring block program, which is a term we've used now for 34 years this spring. It's a field intensive practicum of four clustered classes, which are co-taught currently by myself and Wendy Walker and a team of uh, undergraduate uh, assistants who've taken the class the previous year. And it's all that anyone is doing. Nobody has any other classes. So it's a fabulous formula that John Miles arrived at back in 1980 uh, to enable a thoroughgoing kind of student engagement. And in some ways, I think it is very much like uh, the student co-op houses that um, we're part of. For example, actually today, uh, right now, they are planning the meals that, will, that they will be cooking for the whole group uh, when we go out to Susia Island in the San Juans to prepare for when we go back, when our students, our 22 students, will be split into three groups, each with a different high school partner, and they'll be responsible for conducting a week-long uh, environmental education program for those students. So to prepare them, for this experience where they're going to be cooking together, eating together, working together, learning together with their students. Um, they've had to have some uh, prerequisite classes, but we also have long-standing relationships with our community partners, the three high schools that we'll be with out there. And we have to help our students get to know those. So we put them in those classrooms as observers the preceding quarter um, in a, in a a related class, and we um, have them meet with the faculty. We have them learn the relevant policies, for example, risk management policies that the schools have. We have them um, learn what the current curriculum is so that they can connect the curriculum they're going to develop to what the students have been learning and what they're going to be learning. And we have them go into the classrooms and conduct uh, games and activities to get to know the students, get familiar with them a little bit. We also have been developing community among this group of students themselves uh, since the preceding quarter when we have a preparatory seminar. So they're very oriented to what's going to be happening. We've gone through the basics of what they're going to be doing. So they've been experiencing building community, for example, uh, being on the ropes course out at Lakewood in uh, one of their small group configurations and working together, uh, discovering each other's capacities, having fun, but also, uh, in their words, uh, coming to a whole new level of trust. One student said, um, before trust was a concept, now it's something real. Um, and they are going to depend on each other. They're going to go through a storming phase where they uh, have to rub up against each other's rough edges and maybe soften them down, figure out how they're going to adjust their personality quirks to the rest of the group, how they can work with each other as in terms of their strengths. Um, so they're prepared already as a community and then they have to make community with the high schoolers while they're out there. Um, this year they'll be embedded, so to speak, with um, their high school groups camping with them and eating with them. So that's part of the preparation. Of course, they also have to have something to teach. So they're preparing natural history um, talks for each other, and they have to make an original lesson, which is something they need to know something about. So usually it's something based on some previous coursework <coughs> where they uh, are taking some knowledge they have but making it very place-specific um, there's no point in going to Susia Island uh, to teach geology if you could do the same lesson back in the classroom or botany or uh, any other ecological concept. So how do you use the place? And this allows them to connect that larger than human sense of self uh, to what they're doing and to their learners. So it's not only that the learners come away understanding more about the ecology, it's the learners also come away uh, with some insight and excitement about the natural world. Um, there are many amazing little things that you can learn that um, 
light the flame, uh, as the phrase is about education. It's not the filling of the pail, but the lighting of a flame.